Uh, straight out to Candace Trunzo, senior news editor with DailyMail.com. Candace, not only does he say that um, the hot coffee splashed onto his crotch, and I'm putting that euphemistically, and the inside of his thighs, uh, he went to a dock in the box, you know, a med first type thing, a, right, you know, right. urgent care thing. But he also says it exacerbated his Crohn's and that he had to have surgery because he got coffee on his crotch. I mean, a million dollars, $750,000 lawsuit. Did he have to take off work? I mean, did he miss work, Candace? He did miss work. He did miss work. His private parts were affected. His sex life was affected. And he says that although he's had a disease called Crohn's disease, which is an, a disease, an inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract, he says that the incident exacerbated the disease and he had to have surgery and removal of part of his small intestine. Okay, now wait, 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 wait. Candace yep. Trunzo, the way you rattle that off, it sounds like you personally know the hot coffee <laughs> ruined his sex life. So I'm going to have to cross-examine you, Miss Trunzo. Do it, so do let, it. let's take this from the top. Uh, so he pulls into the local Starbucks. Yes. And he gets a free cup of coffee. Restaurants, delis, donut shops, coffee shops love it because people see cops there and it makes them a little bit safer. So they'll give free food, free coffee to cops. He comes Absolutely. in, he gets a cup of coffee. And it's my understanding what he's walking to the Splenda and the sugar. Okay, what exactly happens? So he uh, he gets the coffee. He claims that they didn't put a sleeve. You know, when you go into Starbucks or any coffee place, usually there's a sleeve to protect you from the heat of the cup. He says they didn't put a sleeve on the cup. I got to tell you that when I go into my Starbucks, I have to put my own sleeve on the cup. They don't do it. Okay, well, you know, if you want to pay $5 for a cup of coffee, <laughs> that's your business, Candace. That's for rich people. I'm going to stick with McDonald's. You know, you can get a huge one for a dollar, but that's not part of this lawsuit. So he goes in, he gets out of the car. This is not a drive through. He is walking right. to the sugar and the cream and all that. And, and what happens? Splenda, and then he goes and sits down at the table. And in order to put his Splenda in, he has to pop the lid. He puts the cup in his right hand. He says he tried to get the lid off in his left, but the lid popped off without him doing anything. He says that the cup caved into itself and the coffee spilled all over him. And that's what he claims happened. 